In the United States, colon cancer is the third most prevalent and the second most deadly cancer. It is still very reliant on surgical resection for definitive treatment. And the immunotherapies that have revolutionized the treatment of advanced cancer has only worked for a small subset of colon cancer. This highlights a great need for novel target identification. My research identifies a new gene that is essential for growth of colon cancer. And we found that the tumor environment itself can make epigenetic changes within the cell. But now we've shown that things outside of the cell can actually help make these changes as well in a way that actually promotes cancer growth. This work was completely dependent on the ability to create a pathway from the operating room and the surgeon suite to pathology where the tumor is diagnosed to rapidly preparing live cells from that tumor for our studies. Without that infrastructure here that we have at Mount Sinai, we couldn't have made this discovery. What this means for most patients with colon cancer is that inflammation that's occurring in the tumor is contributing to the tumor's growth. And anything we can do to sort of curb inflammatory effects in the colon through prevention, better treatment, understanding uh, what dietary effects have on the microenvironment in the colon. In terms of treatment, we have genetic evidence that targeting this gene actually inhibits tumor growth, and that by understanding all of these different components more fully, we'll have better tools to try to prevent the disease.